Greetings everyone, the good tonight here, and today I'm going to do a little uh, sort of loadout thing because my gear has consistently changed and I'm always constantly looking for ways to make it better. So, taking the advice of a. Uh, let's camera a bit. Uh, taking the advice of a good friend uh, named, who went by Joker, Joker on the team, basically his advice was pretty simple on how to set up a play carrier. Basically, have what you need, keep it down to the minimal. And if you don't need it, get rid of it. Plates, plates alone, are already fairly heavy. Magazines, especially real ones, are going to get pretty heavy. So basically, you're going to want to minimize what you have and keep it down to a pretty simple setup. So, helmet, I could get my uh, hearing protection sword and on under this, because it is a Mitch designed to be integrated with comms. And I'll run into the plate here. So, LBT-1694. And as usual, I've got four mags on the front and two on the side. One facing upwards for ease of access from here, and the other one, which would be a bit more difficult to reach high, is set low, so that I can pull it from down here. Total of six mags. Now most people will wear a simple sort of six mag get up on the chest, right up on the front. Can't really do that because of the extra material making the spacing too much. And additionally, once you start really bulking this up, if you have to vault over anything or climb or move anywhere, it's going to get in the way and cause problems. Now, so basically, what do you need? Well, first and foremost, if you're doing a sort of rifleman setup, hence rifle, you're going to want to obviously have magazines because you're going to be doing a lot of the shooting, particularly aiming for precision shooting, not just simple suppression. So you want at least three to six mags. Three would be more of a sort of basic, super light loadout as more of a uh, quick reaction security detail, and six means you're going to be in the fight for a minute or two. So. Top of that, you want to have your IFAC. Now, your IFAC needs to have all your basic emergency medical equipment. It isn't uncommon to get shot in the hands. And if you've played airsoft, you know gloves are important because you will get shot in the fingers. A lot. So, hands are obviously one of the things that are going to get hit. Now, in a more realistic situation, this will be detrimental to your ability to stay in the fight. But, with your IFAC readily accessible, I can just pop this open. I've got tourniquets. I've got medical supplies, we've got quick clot, all that good stuff so that I can bandage up a hand, probably lose the ability to use the fingers, but stay in the fight one-handed and flail around with the other busted hand. So, options. You want to have your IFAC readily accessible, you have scissors here in case you need to cut away any extra clothing or material in the way. So yeah, IFAC, magazines. Probably the two single most important things you can have on your play carrier. So, with, the, with these ones, if I did have a simple six setup, I could probably use the space for a grenade launcher or something, although, or grenade pouches, but it does appear to be easier to simply have a grenade belt made by Tactical Taylor. So, you're on comps here, I'm not doing it right now because it's a pain to get them on. Now, with the LBT 1694 cover bun, there are these spaces on the side here, these little pockets. They, alter they alternatively make, for the ones that don't have this, the concealable sort of pouches that plug into the Velcro here. They sit on the inside of the cover bun, so you can have radios and extra mags. But since this is built-in pockets, no real need for that. Now, as you noticed on the back side here, there is a dump pouch mounted on a play carrier. Not the most common way to see them mounted, but this gives you the ability to always have your dump pouch accessible, attached to a play carrier, less waggle when moving. So reducing sound and reducing your... Uh, uh, available targets airsoft-wise, and keeps holes out of your dump pouch, which is nice. So yeah, as you can see with the way the IFAC, the IFAC is set up here, the rifle will actually sit somewhat relaxed on the side. It might pop out to the side if I lean over this way. Not really, but yeah, kind of. So, to solve that, all I would need to do is simply install a slung weapon catch, which I have one right down there. I'm just debating if I want to have it here or not, so I might give that a shot. It'll give me a way to add a second point of contact onto here, prevent the rifle from flailing if I need to vault over cover, climb anything, stuff like that. So it's a nice little thing to have if you need to be doing a crazy repelling or something crazy, jump out of a plane, stuff like that. So there's nothing on the back at the moment, but I do have a order in for a Warrior Salt Systems. Yanni, get out of here. Warrior Salt Systems uh, assault pack. So that gives you the option, it'll help you carry a camelback, you with our MREs in there, extra supplies, grenades, other stuff you'll need, and even extra mags if you want to swap out every time you get a small break from all the action, so fun stuff. So it's a pretty simple, pretty simple setup I have going. The helmet's a bit heavy, and the uh, plates I have in here 
also a bit heavy. So having a reduced amount of weight and not carrying frivolous frivolosities, which probably isn't Shakespearean license. Don't you call me out in the comments. We'll definitely save uh, some room, time, everything, and make it lighter, which is important. So I'll probably just carry a camel back in the assault pack and maybe some food, but that's really bad. You don't want to get too heavy unless you're going to be really, really off in the fight and doing all sorts of crazy things, at which point you could probably attach a few grenade pouches or anything. I'm not too focused into the grenade or sword setup. The main thing I was looking at was basically getting rid of a belt. Now, the padded belts I have are pretty cool. They do sit a little funny from time to time, but generally I don't want to carry that much stuff as it comes down to. The only other thing I could think about carrying is a handgun, which is why I have this uh, Cobra pistol belt with a magazine pouch on it presently. On this side I want to put a drop leg, which also, again, in the mail and whenever it gets here, I may or may not use it. A handgun is a good option to have. It's a bit extra weight, but it's down on the hips and mostly out of the way. Gives you the ability to better clear corners and everything, so. Always nice to have. Not necessary, but nice to have. So, yeah, I actually might give that uh, slung weapon catch a, sl uh, a shot just to uh, sort of help keep this secure when not in use. And yeah, so basically you want to be able to move fast and shoot. Swap sides, bang bang. And yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a basic enough setup. <clears throat> It's taken a few years to really sort of minimize it down, but yeah, basically precision shooting's primary, and uh, if need be, you could always latch a few grenades onto the front, you could throw them on the belt, as long as they got a spoon. You could actually, one of the things I read was most popular, is just throw your grenades in your dump pouch. As you go through mags, you might be like, oh, I need a grenade, so you can reach in there, fiddle around, find it, and there you go. It's faster than a grenade pouch from everything I've heard, so yeah. So, that's all I really got, Sordens comes in this pocket I'll run through here it'll fit nicely under the helmet and yeah, just throw on some water and I am set it is starting to cool down in Okinawa so running actual plates and everything will be less of an issue although I do have the foam plates and stuff lying around somewhere the fakies they're nice if you want to play really well at the cost of a simulation so this is actually incredibly comfortable the lightweight setups very nice it's not too hot or anything, and yeah, so six mags, IFAC, and water, three most important things you can throw on your plate carrier. Everything else is secondary. As long as you have those things, you are set. So yeah, water. And that also gives you the ability if you want to adjust any sort of like harnesses or belts or anything in case you want to do repelling or any crazy operator stuff. So yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today, and um, I'm going to go work on some other stuff, because I have more videos to make, and this, a few other reviews, and yeah, good stuff. Cheers everyone, stay chivalrous.